Hi, welcome to Kiana Creates. I'm Kiana. Welcome to my channel. Excuse my voice. I have a cold. I just got home and I have two big, uh, two boxes of book outlet that um I need to open. And I want to show you what I got. Oh goodness, this I need to open. <laughs> Okay. Well, there's two books, two books in this box. This is Skin of the Ski Sits, mm, Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. A way to survive, a way to serve, a way to save. Send me pray to the gods once. Now she serves them as Mami Wata, a mermaid collecting the souls of those who die at the sea and blesses their journeys back home. But when a living boy is thrown overboard, Simi does unthinkable. She saves his life, going against an ancient de decree, and punishment awaits those who dare to defy it. To protect the other, Mami Wata, Simi, Simi must journey to the Supreme Creator to make amends. But all is not all it seems. There's the boy she rescued, who knows more than he should. And something is shadowing Simi, something that would rather see her fail. Danger lurks at every turn, and as Simi draws closer, she must have vengeful gods. She must brave vengeful gods, treacherous lands, and legendary creatures. Because if she doesn't, then she risks not just the fate of all Mami Wata, but also the world as she knows it. So that's that book. Hold on just a second. I went to try to find my glasses, but I can't find them. Okay, this is My Imaginary Mary by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Kisses, kisses, boys in graveyards, Mary. May have inherited the brilliant mind of her late mother, Mary Wallstonecraft. But she lives a drab life above her father's bookstore, waiting for an idea that will inspire work wealthy, worthy of her parentage, parentage, and impress her rakishly handsome and super sweet beau, Percy Shelley. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it hurts my eyes. I have a headache already. <laughs> now, this is a much bigger box. This box, this box is broken. So it was easier to get into because I just had to untape it. This is My Calamity Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Welcome to 1876 and rooting it to an American bursting with gunslingers, outlaws, and guru. A genuine hero, Jane Heroine. Calamities, her name, and Garu Hunting's her game. When she's not starring in Wild Bill's traveling show, that is. She reckoned that if a girl wants to be a legend, she would just go ahead and be one. So that's that one. Splintered by A.G. Howard. Now, I got this because I was sure that I had the first one. I'm not sure which one this one is. So, I'm not going to read the synopsis on this one because I don't know which one this one is. I should have read the synopsis on the other one. Okay, I got... Crave by Tracy Wolf. 
My whole world changed when I stepped inside the academy. Nothing is right about this place or the other students in it. Here I am, a mere mortal among gods or monsters. I, I still can't wait. I still can't decide which of these warring factions I belong to, if I belong at all. I only know the one thing that unites them is their hatred of me. Then there's Jackson Vega, a vampire with deadly secrets who hasn't felt anything for a hundred years, but there's something about him that calls to me, something broken in him that somehow fits with what's broken in me, which could spell death for us all, because Jackson walled himself off for a reason, and now someone wants to wake a sleeping monster, and I'm wondering if I was brought here intentionally as the bait. This Crave... I have Court and Crush and Court. There's two more, I think, because I'm reading, I read these on my Kindle Unlimited, and I'm actually reading Court right now. So, and wondering why. It's because these words are super small, but I wanted them on my shelf. A chef that I don't have yet because I'm running out of shelf space. Yeah. <laughs> I bought Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahorin. Star-crossed lovers brought together by fate or providence. Lou has spent her whole life running. Now after a crushing blow from Morgane, the time has come to claim what is rightfully hers. Don't want to read too much of that because I can't remember if I read book one. I have book one. I have book two. I know I haven't read book two, but I can't remember if I read book one. So I might have to reread it. And my contrary, Mary, I thought I, this was um, hardcover. Well, this is another book in that series. Cynthia Hand, Brody Ash, and Jody Meadows. And the last book is Red Hood, Elena K. Arnold. Now this book, I don't know anything about. Since her grandmother became her caretaker when she was four years old, but Sue Martell had lived a quiet life in a little house in Seattle. She's kept mostly to herself. She's been good, but then comes the night of homecoming when she finds herself running for her life over roots and between trees, a furry of claws and teeth behind her. A wolf attacks, but Sue fight back. A new moon rises and wish it, with it questions about the blood in B B Sue's past and on her hands as she stumbles home about broken boys and vicious wolves, about girls lost in the woods, frightened but not alone. So this seemed like it's a Red Riding Hood retelling. That's probably why I bought it. I didn't read the synopsis, but... I knew this was a retelling. That's probably why I bought that. So that is all in that haul. <laughs> I don't know why I keep buying books. I have a problem. I don't have no more shelf space. I need a. I need about three bookshelves. Yeah, I need three bookshelves to fit all my books at the present. So, because I keep buying books, I probably need four bookshelves. <laughs> but... Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified whenever I post another video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.